there. Hope God rebuilt himself too, who was just what compared to Moses. So his capacity to lead was a question. Like me, I know what some of us, some of you, question. Because some of our brothers and sisters have been in my household before, and I was, uh, I was their household leader. They know about me, and they know my weaknesses, and they know um, ano lang yung, ano lang yung makataya ko. And yes, mas may marami pa ang mas magagaling sa akin, but God chose me to be a unity here in the world. Pero sabi ko sa sarili ko, kung sino ba naman ang mga yun, kahit hindi ko kaya. It reminds me na yung si Peter, ha, imagine na, si Peter pinili ng itong yun. Siya yung binigyan ng susi ng kaharin na ng Diyos. Pero bakit siya naging yes? He is just a fisherman. Wala, masya, wala pinag-aralan. Di ba? Ha? At saka may, may pamilya pa siya. Pero bakit hindi siya, bakit hindi pinili ng Panginoon si Mateo? No? Si Andrew. Mga mga galing, mga mga matatalino. Bakit hindi sila? That na naalala ko yun dahil sa baby sa karanasan ng buhay natin sa ating sarili. Dahil pag, pag sa tingin mo may malaking utang ka sa Panginoon, yun ang patangon niya. Lord, how to pay my debts to you? Hindi kita pwede babayaran ng pera dahil ikaw mong may ari ng lahat, diba? But how? How can I pay processes I try to imagine this. How can we pay God for all the sins, for all the, our past? No? Kung ano tayo dante. But this is the time. I, I, I was so, so I embrace embracing the change that happens to my life because it changed me and this is the time that I want to share, to serve, especially here in our world. That No, we're so blessed na marami tayo. It's not easy to be a leader. It's not easy. Uh, si Joshua nga, marami may question sa kanya kung bakit uh, may, may kapasidad ba siya na magdala ng mga tao. But Joshua remind, remember that uh, remember God's promise that God is our faith. Uh, God is faithful. And now if you are faithful, if, if God is faithful to us, see what happens to our lives right now. If God is faithful to us, Then, bakit hindi tayo faithful sa kanya? Amen? Amen? Ang isang leader, dahil, sa, dahil yung leader tayo, commitment yan, di ba? Dahil member tayo ng CFC, commitment talaga yan. No? So, kung baya, sasabihin ko sa inyo, bakit, maging, uh, bakit kailangan natin maging committed kay, kay God? So, the Israelites were doubtful of God's promise. Diba? Yung mga tao. They were still fearful of their journey. They are still worried about uncertainties of their future. Kahit ako, hindi ko kalahin na sa dami ng last GP natin, Brother Mel, sa iyong pinilihan, no? Kami na ba parang, ah, diba? Parang kung ano na siya. Tumatayo na ako sa harap na wala. But God moves in this team this way. Amen? Amen. I was nasyak ako nung sinabi ng taga-tima, no? na pero dito na. Grabe bro, ang dami ng mga participants niyo. Kahit kunti na hindi wala kang nagkita sa inyo na parang tarantara yun. Parang relax na kayo ah. Parang oo, oh, tama ka, parang wala sa inyo nakita na. Parang <laughs> wala. Because I believe that God is faithful and I believe that God is here. Because God wants us and needs us to choose us. Amen? Amen? So, brothers and sisters, just like um, um, just one had all the reasons to doubt but uh, and be overwhelmed with the pressure that comes with change and transition and yet just, just one was filled with uh, fervent trust in the Lord. He remembered every detail of God's promise. To him. God will be with him. God will not leave, not forsake him. So just like how God fulfilled his promise to Joshua and the Israelites, he told his people to his promise to us. 
you know? Do you believe that, that God is faithful to His promise to us? Look at us. Right now. You know? So, uh, all we have to do is to serve Him. Serve Him. No, I know that we have a plans, we have a, we have a plans, we have a dreams in the future, but just a little bit. Just, I know, we can't do that by the way again. As long as I serve you, kada bahala, hindi mo mapapansin yan, promise, promise to. Hindi mo mapapansin ang blessing na ibibigay sa iyo ng Panginoon, biglang lumating kahit, uy, lumating ko ba tayo ng blessing? Di ba? Hindi mo mapapansin yan. Kasi busy ka sa pag-serve sa community, sa church, o sa family natin. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, change comes with endless opportunities to learn new things, to widen, uh, to widen, widen our horizon, and to be brought to greater heights of God. So, change renews us, revives our fear and spirit, and opens more space to, for God to fill us with grace. So let us not be afraid, uh, brothers and sisters, to experiment and uh, experiment and venture in this in new things, change and transition. So, uh, like this, uh, brother uh, Tito Ray and Tito Ray, Tito Abrojen and Brother uh, Sister Rosli, Tito Tito Jen and Tito, Tito Rosli from the Family Ministry Youth for Christ Leader. Now there's a transition, and yeah, um, and we are so blessed that. Uh, Tito Richard and Tita Lutsky are willing to willing to comment as a uh, Youth for Christ uh, coordinator here in Omaru. So uh, yes, it's a, it's a, it's our you know on how God's on how God's uh, uh, move your heart and how God's touch your heart, no? But Tita Tito Jane and Tita Tita Rosli, they're serving in YC for six years. So, mahaba na. So far, five years na sana, pero sila kailangan pa nila ng buwan niya. So, thank you, Tito Jane and Tita Rosli. And yes, brothers and sisters, God wants us to commit, to be committed to Him. Bakit? Sabi ni God, sabi, commit yourself to God by committing to others too. No? What if committed ka kayo, or hindi ka committed sa, committed sa, sa church, hindi ka committed sa, sa mga kaibigan mo, no? sa family mo. So, kinihiling ng Diyos na maging committed tayo sa buong sang katauhan. So we are simply called to be committed to just a few people. To our family, to our workmates, to our community, the Focus for Christ, and even to the only one person who needs you most. No? Kaya, ang pag-commit natin sa sarili natin, sa Panginoon, hindi lang sa Kanya. At sa kanya, paano mo, paano mo naman, paano mo naman ipakita na kumitin ka sa kanya, kung hindi, hindi mo gagawin sa kapwa mo. Amen? Amen po ba? So, that is good? That is good. And all the time. So, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, so now, uh, Brother Jason is also committed to music ministry in the church. And so, our, you know, our uh, community, uh, in our music ministry and our community of Apostle Progress. So, all of us are chosen. No? We have our own commitment. No? So, ito lang. God is faithful to us and He wants us to be committed to Him. Amen? So now, nandito tayo lahat dahil committed tayo kay God. Ito yung commitment natin sa akin. Yeah? So, uh, hindi natin sayang itong oras na ito. Kasi baka masayang na, let us experience God's presence tonight as we come and worship Him. Let us experience God. So, let us know it. As we saw the thing is all, clap your hands, dance. Yeah? Uh, after the two-fast two song, 
Thank you for your presence tonight, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for comforting us, Lord. Thank you very much, Lord God. Thank you for your additional love, Lord God. That you all consider the country is here for us, Lord God. We promise, Lord God, that whatever we command, Lord God, we will stand and be strong. We follow you, Lord God. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Um, please put our hands together and pray for the Lord's prayer. As we say, our Father, our God, hallowed be your name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Please pray for a moment and please ask the Lord to take you to Jesus. Mother Mary, please come soon as you know. And we bring back all the glory to our Lord as we say, All glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And this was the beginning of this time of our Lord and our Lord and our Lord and our Lord. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.